Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial where I'm having a look at adding a picture inside a film rebate frame. Now I'm not 100% certain why they're called rebates but it is basically this black frame here that gives it the image of it being part of, a, of the old camera film sort of frames. Um, so we're just going to add a picture with inside this frame and sort of give it a vintage look. Now this is one example that I did and this is another example and as you can see I've also added a sort of light leak effect down this edge here and on this one I sort of did it over on that edge. That is a sort of added extra you don't necessarily have to add the light leak it just sort of gives it that more sort of vintage feel to it. Now if you go to a Google search or whatever search engine you use and put in film rebate and look for images you will get probably hundreds or thousands of them varying from ones that have the sprocket holes and ones that don't have sprocket holes um, and this is the particular one that I picked which was from dpreview.com and I think it might have been part of some tutorial um, but if you, I will add links to this page in the description for this video and all I did was it's got view original size and then I just right clicked on that and saved image and that saved it to my computer um, so coming back to Affinity Photo so this is the image which I've loaded into Affinity Photo and I have also added and this uh, picture of Venice which I got from pixabay.com and I'm sure Pixabay will also do film rebates if you do a search within there as well now just looking at the light leaks um, again if I go back to the search engine here um, if you do a search for light leaks you will get lots and lots of various light leak images um, which are pretty much all the same in the sense of they got wherever the light leak is and then a black background outside of that so this is just one that I've just grabbed quickly and if I right click on this layer and copy and come to my Venice image if I then edit and paste and then I re resize this to fit this Venice image like that then all I've got to do is change the blend mode to screen and screen will get rid of all the black and just leave you with this light leak sort of orange in this particular case coming from the left but whichever one that you pick you can add to your image later on and but I'm also going to sort of show you a sort of a more basic way that you can make your own light leaks but that if you do download a light leak that's what you need to do just put it above your image and change the blend mode to screen let me just delete that so again to actually put in this image inside the frame so like I did with the light leaks so I'll just right click on this and copy and come to the film rebate image and then edit and paste now this finished image is much much bigger than the film rebate image so what I'm going to do is if I just lower the opacity of this a little bit not just go too mad around about 70 percent just so you can see the film rebate behind so you can judge the positioning of this and what I have also got I've got snapping turned on so if I move this so I get the yellow vertical line and the red horizontal line I know that that is centered 
And if I come to one of the corners, hold down the control key so it keeps its proportions, I can bring this in to roughly where I need it. Then press control and zero to zoom back out again. And then I can just, again, hold down the control key, come from the corner and get this to fit pretty much where I want it. I can use the arrow keys left and right, up and down, just to nudge it slightly to where I need it to be. And I'm sort of fairly happy where that is. But I might actually move this up slightly so there's a bit more of the boat uh, water and the boat and water down here. So I will bring the opacity back up to 100%. Then all I've got to do is change the blending mode of this layer from normal to darken. And that will place that within the frame and you will lose the image behind the black of the film rebate. Now there, are, you will, in some cases you will have some of the image showing through the sprockets like you have down here but you can do this a couple of ways you could add a layer mask and paint those off or you could get the eraser brush and have that um, hardness we can have it a hardness on 100% opacity 100% and I'm making sure you are just on this image layer you can just paint over the sprockets and get rid of any part of the image that might be showing through let's have a look at the sprockets at the top there might be a little bit here nearly done All right, so I'll press control and zero to zoom out again so we now have the image inside the film rebate frame so now I just want to make this image look a bit more sort of older and sort of where it might have been taken on a film camera rather than a digital camera. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to add a gradient map but I want to add it as a child layer of this background image. Now I can sort of plan ahead in this and I can click on this but, uh, icon up here which is insert inside the selection. So the selection is my image if I click on that, the next action I will do, it will insert it inside or make it a child layer of the selected layer. So I want the gradient map, which is there. So you can see that has made that automatically a child layer of this image. So I don't want the middle node, so I'll just click and drag it downward and it will take it away. And then I just need to change the colours of the shadows, which is this red, and the highlights, which is currently set on blue. So the red node first, and so this is the largest node at the moment. I'll click on the colour box, and we want a sort of dark violet colour. So if I drag this around here to the purples, and make this sort of quite dark put that about there. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just a rough sort of idea. And then click on the node for the highlights and we want this to be an orange colour. I'm going to go for a fairly sort of almost yellowy orange rather than a red orange. And I will leave that one there. And what we're now going to do is just change the blending mode. Now you can do this either from 
up here in the uh, layers panel or you can do it from the actual gradient map box because it's down here I'm going to change this to overlay and again we can, we can change the opacity again you can do it from up here or from the box itself so I'm going to drop this down to pretty much down to zero and then just bring it up and then you can do it to suit your particular taste just to sort of add that sort of vintage feel I'm going to go for about 70-ish percent there you go 70 percent and then close that down and then I'm going to highlight the top layer again uh, the image layer again I'm going to click on this insert inside selection and I'm going to add a live filter and then add noise and as you can see that is now again a child layer of the image that's inside the frame so I'm just going to make sure it's on Gaussian and monochromatic is ticked and I mean you really don't want too much noise I mean you're not going to go up to 100 it's going to look absolutely horrible but just to add a bit of noise that you probably would have had back in the day in film cameras more than you do in digital cameras so I don't know it's about 16 percent there's a bit of noise there in the background again you can always tinker with the opacity but 16% for me is that's okay. Now, this will start pretty much be the end of the tutorial. If and if you don't want a light leak, so you could save it at this point. But if you are going to add a light leak, if you're going to use a sort of ready-made one, you would need to again place it as a sort of child layer or even above this particular layer and add it and then change the blend mode to screen but if you want to sort of make your own and it will be a very basic light leak what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this top sort of group and come down to merge visible so this is a now a combination of all the layers that we currently have and then I'm going to again I'm going to click on this insert inside selection and then come to the adjustments and add a curves adjustment and then with this curves adjustment I'm going to alter the setting from master to red and I'm going to click and drag this red line right to the top and fairly close to the left side and then I'm going to select the blue option and this time come right to the bottom and fairly close to the right side and then close that down and just shut this down and highlight this layer and as you can see it's, it's given this orange effect which is pretty ghastly but I'm now going to add a layer mask to this but I want a black layer mask not a white layer mask and you can do that from either um, I think it's layer you can do new empty layer mask or you can hold down the alt key and then click on this icon here and that will add a black layer mask to this particular image so then all you need is the paintbrush tool and because it's a black mask we will need white and I have the hardness set on zero, size, uh, whatever suits your particular image. But let's go for a bit bigger brush here. And it's just a case of paint in a bit of light leak effect 
of your own and you can lower the opacity and raise the opacity just to get different amounts of light leak in different areas so basically that is it whether you have the picture with the light leak or not is up to you but it is now within the film rebate frame so all you need to do now is save your image or export it using a different name than it that you started with so you don't overwrite your originals so thank you for watching and goodbye